Today's lecture is about neural networks and the agenda of uh, this topic is first we will try to give you some motivation uh, why exactly neural networks are required and in, in that aspect we'll try to cover two different aspects. The first is feature engineering and the second is feature learning. So we will see that uh, some of some part of feature engineering we have already covered like the basics and neural network is kind of basics for feature learning. So we'll try to connect these two uh, concepts and how these are different and how they're trying to solve actually the same problem. Then we'll try to cover some of the basics of neural networks or what exactly these neural networks are and how, how we can actually use them. And then there's a very interesting concept of non-linearity, which is actually used uh, in neural networks, not just neural networks, like any kind of network you have. So we will briefly talk about that. So let's start with uh, the first topic, which is feature engineering versus feature learning. Now, so far in the course, we have seen, uh, given an input image, we can detect edges. Okay, so that's just the beginning. And of course, if the end goal is to actually detect edges, I mean, your problem is solved, but usually like in real world uh, applications, you ideally want more than that, not just detect edges. Okay, so the question is like, okay, once we have detected these edges, where we can go from here? In the previous lectures, we have been talking about filtering. Um, we have studied like how gradients can be used to detect these edges. We try to cover different algorithms to detect edges. So the next step is once we have these edges, can we extract some meaningful features? And by meaningful features, I mean some kind of conceptual representation of your input image, okay, which will make like make your task easier. Let's say if you're doing image classification, so these features will help you out. Okay, for, so for example, like if you're doing image recognition or it could be scene recognition, place recognition, like there are a lot of uh, other variations, then these features will be very, very useful. And again, if you're doing object detection or action detection, or any other detection task, again, these features will be useful. It could be segmentation. So whatever variation of computer vision problem you have in your application, you will need these features. Now let's try to understand like uh, at a high level, when we're trying to do object classification, what exactly is happening uh, under the hood? So for example, if this is your image and let's say you have to classify your set of images as whether these are motorcycles or not, so what you'll have to do is your input will be this image. Then you will have some kind of model. You can say, let's say machine learning uh, model, which is going to tell you whether this is motorcycle or not. Okay. So this is like a very basic uh, image classification problem. Now, the problem uh, with the, these kind of models, and we have seen this before as well. So uh, visually we can see like it's a motorcycle and it's very easy for us to, to make like these kind of uh, interpretations. But uh, as we discussed earlier, like, uh, in images, when computer tries to seize these images, if you focus on this patch, the camera or the computer, whatever your algorithm is, it's just seeing this bunch of numbers. And even for us, like as humans, I mean, these numbers, I mean, it's very hard to interpret. There is no way of saying that, okay, these numbers are actually coming from motorcycle or not. 